Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanna go ahead and shout out Jonathan Adams. Jonathan was one of the first ones to send me this crazy story and it's coming from atrocious ass Arizona. We have not had an Arizona story in a while, but this story is going viral. So what's going down is that we have six students from Desert Vista High School in Phoenix, Arizona. And so it was class picture day and they were supposed to have all these students lined up. They all had gold letters printed on their shirt and they were all supposed to stand in the line. They were supposed to say, best you've ever seen, class of 2016. But of course, you know, everybody's a comedian. Everybody wants to have jokes. Everybody, you know, is so star for attention nowadays that six of those girls decided to come together and do a Snapchat and basically create the word nigger. So they posted this on Snapchat and of course somebody took a screenshot posted it onto social media and this picture went viral. And when I tell you these girls got death threats, they got cussed out, folks found their Instagram pages, their Twitter profiles and everything else. And all the girls have since deleted their profiles. Their homes were getting caught with death threats, getting cussed out. This whole situation is a hot damn mess. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. These are high at a high school in Albuquerque after this photo was posted online. It shows six Desert Vista High School students wearing shirts spelling out what appears to be a racial slur. ABC 15's Lauren Vargas is live at Desert Vista High School right now. And Lauren, what's the reaction out there? Well, the students I talked to insist this is not normal behavior here, but the news spread like wildfire through the campus. Everyone just scratching their head, wondering why no one involved here thought twice before posting that photo. It only took a moment to snap this photo and post it online, but the consequences for the students involved will certainly last much longer. Everybody was just talking about it in class. Everybody thinks like the girls are dumb for doing it. What apparently started as a harmless message for the senior class photo quickly turned much more serious when the six girls decided to change the message to this racial slur. They posted on Snapchat and someone screenshotted it and put it on Twitter and it just went viral. Alexis Barfield knows several girls in the photo and doesn't understand what they were thinking. Being an African American, that's just like disrespectful in so many different ways. Tensions were running high at Desert Vista High School even as our cameras were rolling. It's not a big deal to me. It's like, yeah, it's, it's a bad derogatory term. You never know who it offends, but it's not that big of a deal to me. An interview with a student downplaying the photo escalated into a confrontation when another boy tried to intervene. Completely against interviews. No interviews. <laughs> Extra security was on hand as the last bell rang with several Phoenix police cars circling the campus just in case. It's pathetic to me. It's very pathetic. So the rumor is these girls got five days suspension. The school will not talk specifics, but did say that number is not accurate. They say they plan on implementing a racial sensitivity class and say the people who, who took the photo could also face punishment as well. Yeah, and we just found out that the letter going home to parents is on abc15.com along with a full statement from the school district. So if you want to check it was that out. taken at more. first and second period and I heard about it when I was in my fourth period because I have yearbook. So she started talking about it and all of what went down and she's like saying that it's really disrespectful and crude and cruel. The school is doing a senior panoramic, which is where they take like a really long picture of all the seniors and it takes up two pages of the yearbook. So um, the kids had like words, like letters on their shirts to spell words to go in the picture because that's what they do every year. And like the original saying of like their t-shirt thing was best class, best you've ever seen class of 2015. And then they just like rearranged themselves to make like the word that they spelled out that was in the picture. Yeah, so it wasn't planned. They just like figured out that that was one of the words that their big sentence made. And then I guess they thought it was funny. I was, I was shocked. I didn't expect that and white girls saying the N word. I was really shocked because they thought it was like really funny to like spell out that word, which is like very offensive to like a lot of people who are African-American that go to Desert Vista. So I, I didn't think it was funny at all. I thought it was very, very offensive. Um, everyone was talking about it in class because it blew up on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. 
Um, I found out from a friend. She had a picture of it from Twitter. And she happened to like show me the picture and tell me about it. I do feel anger because I'm black myself. And it's like, why talk about a culture like that? They were wrong. And they should have never have done that. And it's not the school's problem. It's them five girls. And they shouldn't have been suspended for five five days. Because out of my personal opinion, if I was the principal, Mrs. Barella, I would have told them you're expelled. Because not only did they put just disdain upon the school itself, but they were just pure disrespectful. Not for other cultures and the school. It's offensive, especially to me, because I am African-American. So I find it offensive, and a lot of other people find it offensive, like, no matter the race, because it's just, like, not an okay thing to do. Honestly, to be honest, I think that they should have got expelled for what they did. It's very, very offensive to all of the people that are at <laughs> Desiristo, so I don't, I don't think they should have done it. All right, so you guys just watched that news clip. Now, a few things bother me with this story, okay? The first thing that bothers me is the news. Now, I find it really funny that the news is choosing to blur out their faces. You know what I'm saying? Like I always say, it seems like whenever it comes to white kids doing stupid stuff, the news is always going out their way to protect them. But when it comes to black kids, and they can be a lot younger than 16 and 17, they will blast their picture all over the news. I've been doing videos for the past five years, and this is a case every time. How the hell do you go about blurring their faces when the damn picture is viral all over the internet, and everybody knows what these girls look like, everybody knows the internet. Instagram and Twitter handles and everything else. So the news is stupid as hell for blurring their faces. They wanted attention. They got attention. So put their ass on blast throughout Arizona and throughout the world. Don't sit there and blur their faces and do them a damn favor. You know, I just find this whole situation just sad. It's ridiculous. Do they deserve to get death threats? No, they don't. You know, folks need to really calm down with that shit. You too many folks on the internet take shit a bit too far. No one should be threatening anybody because of this. Nobody should be wishing death on someone because of this. At the end of the day, these are teenage girls. These are teenagers. And teenagers make stupid mistakes. Now, when I was 16, I don't think I would have ever thought to do something like this with a derogatory slur. You know what I'm saying? But everybody is different. These girls were obviously attention whores. You know what I'm saying? They thought they were being funny and it blew up in their face. You know, but at the end of the day, they do deserve to get suspended. They, But they definitely deserve to be reprimanded by the school you know why these girls would think it was okay just makes no sense and it just shows you how some people really view minority people they might smile on your face and you know say that you know my best friend is black and i have a black girl that i kick it with and i listen to biggie and i listen to tupac and all that bullshit and my favorite rapper is little wayne and young thug but secretly that doesn't mean anything that doesn't mean that they like black people you know what i'm saying you can like black music and black culture and hell you can like patty labelle sweet potato pies but that doesn't mean that you like black black people you know so I just find this whole situation just atrocious these girls need to have several damn seats I'm glad their ass got run off of social media stop looking for attention and validation stop being attention whores and stop being nasty to people you know what I'm saying that word is not okay and it's not okay to sit there and spell that word out and then take a picture and think that other people are going to be okay with it you know so sometimes when you do some stupid shit stupid shit comes your way and I definitely think that these girls should be suspended and they definitely should be reprimanded Ended. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire atrocious ass story that's once again coming from atrocious ass Arizona. How did you guys feel when you guys first saw the picture? What do you guys think should happen to these girls? Do you feel like they should be suspended? Do you feel like they should be expelled? How do you feel about the fact that it's one thing for these girls to take this picture amongst themselves or even pose like this, but why do you feel like so many kids feel the need to post things on social media without thinking? They don't realize that once you post something on Snapchat, it does not mean it's going to go away. Anybody can take a screenshot. I don't understand for the life of me why so many of these teenagers are so thirsty that they're willing to put themselves in jeopardy just to get a like or just to get attention. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.